Welcome to Coffee Havoc number two. And my phone's tripping. Okay. We're going to try this again. So, if I don't get it done, it'll be on YouTube. Okay. This is my third attempt at this. So, if this doesn't work, you can go to YouTube and find this post. All right. So, and I will be looking at this camera versus my um, YouTube camera. All right, so I'm rinsing off my shoes that I, um, crap, stepped in, you know. Um, as I was saying, I wrote the song Suicide Note because if you haven't been there, then you don't know. And this goes mostly for men because I'm not a woman. I do not know the woman experience. I will never know the woman experience because I'm not a freaking woman. But what, I know male pride. All right, I know male pride, and male pride, and male shame, is the thing that um, I'm actually gonna make a separate video about on YouTube. I'm not gonna do it on um, Instagram, but I am going to charge my phone so I can re uh, do a kicks video for y'all. But um, the suicide note song, I wrote that because and there's four versions. The other three are on YouTube. They're up now. Um. I wrote them because of the simple fact that if you haven't been there, and if you're not a man, then you need to understand why I wrote this shit. Men, we actually are emotionally damaged and and shamed to say anything about it, alright? We literally are emotionally damaged and shamed to say anything about it because how about other men who haven't been there are going to act or treat us less manly, alright? And if you have never, ever had the thoughts of unaliving yourself in your life, consider yourself blessed. Consider yourself to be have the best blessing that you have ever had in your life. Because for people like me, who have to deal with this shit on a daily basis, it is not a battle. It is an ongoing war until I win the war or I lose the war. And I have no intention on losing this fucking war. And it's a war within ourselves. No one who's not inside your head or have not been in that situation can really explain the situation to you. And if you are not in this situation and you have no idea, listen to the lyrics of my suicide note. It is a very decent song, even though I can't sing with shit. But lyrics matter. Words are important. And if you haven't been there, then you don't know. If you don't know somebody who's been there, then you don't know. And if you do know somebody, help them help themselves. Tell them that it is okay to get help. Tell them that it is nothing, it's more manly to ask for help than to not ask for help. And I had to learn that. And thank God for my psychiatrist from the army because I would have never have learned that. And I wouldn't be here today if not for her and some of my army friends. And more importantly, my friends that are my family. And my one family member or two family members that actually give a shit where the rest of them could care two shits. So if you are a man, and I state this from the bottom of my heart and what's left of the depths of my soul. Do not be afraid to get some goddamn help. Do not. Regardless of, okay, the hot chick rejected me. Hey, shh, you ought to see how many hot chicks have rejected me. Hot chicks. Anyway, I haven't went after my crush yet, but, you know, I'm still in love with her, and I still want to marry her, and she's still flawlessly beautiful and dangerously sexy. But right now, I got to work on me, and once I get my shit together, I'm going to be straight. And FYI, my shit's actually together. I'm about to graduate from college. Everything is looking great right now, so we're going to not jinx this shit. But I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm telling you this as a man. To the men in the group. And women take note. Men are very fragile. We just don't know how to say we're fragile. And I'm not talking about physically. Physically, everybody's tough. Men, women, doesn't matter. But your mental fragility is more likely a male problem than a female problem. Now, I'm going to say females are above this problem. But for the most part, men unalive themselves way more than females do. Depending on your situation. And I always put that depending on your situation in there. Now, here's the thing. Women ain't afraid to ask for help. 
men are. So if you're a man and you're watching this, and my suicide note song strikes a nerve or hits a chord, it's because you probably need help or you probably can relate. If you can relate, great. And if you don't need help, great. But if you need help, get help. Stop living under the rock of shame and get help. Because if you don't, I don't want to attend my own damn funeral. I damn sure don't want to attend yours. So get your shit together. Get your ass in gear. And get fucking help. There are suicide lines available in every state. I don't know them. I don't know the one from my state. I am not without my suicide line in my wallet at all times. Um, on my cell phone, I have friends that I can reach out to. You guys know who you are, and I thank you. Because you will take time away from your family to help my dumb ass when needed, and I know that you will. So when I have moments of weakness, I know who I can call. All of y'all might not have that. There are suicide lines available in your area. Please go look for them. Please go get the help that you need. To my Dr. Bishop, thank you. To all my bros, biological and not, thank you. To everyone here on Instagram, if you know someone who is in mental distress, help them as best you can. I cannot give you the symptoms that they have. I can only give my symptoms, you know, and I was very bad off and very depressed. And also, thank you to EA Games for Mass Effect, because Mass Effect got me through. Y'all need to give Andromeda a chance. It also got me through. And um, read. Do a lot of reading. Thank God for comic books. Do cosplay. It's helped me a lot. Get help that will help you. Don't get help if you don't think that it'll help you. Get the help that will help you. Turn to your friends. Turn to your family. Turn to the creator. Pray. That being said, I'm Echo Fan Grey Wolf. This is Come Forever number two. This is Instagram. Be seeing you. Now, if you're here on Instagram, I'm on, on Come Forever number two. I'm deadly serious. You need to get help and you need to get it ASAP. Sorry about the background noise, but they clearly can't see the goddamn lights on. But you need to get help. Seek help. Do not be afraid to ask for help because we want you here. It took a long time for me to get this this far in this battle, in this war within myself. So for your sake, get help and get it now. That being said, I'm Echo Fan Grey Wolf. I'll be seeing you.